the honeybee. It's one of the most important pollinators in the environment. It makes up 30% of cross-pollination in crops and 90% of cross-pollination in wild plants. But ever since the 90s, the honeybee numbers have been declining. We sat down with Matt Mers, a local beekeeper, to tell us about bees and what we can do to help their populations. How important are bees to the environment? Uh, I think they're pretty important to the environment. The biggest factor, I think, with honeybees in general is that they're a species that gives us an idea of what's happening in the environment. So obviously I think that the native pollinators are more impacted by what's happening to the honeybees. So what is the biggest threat to bees' health? Probably the biggest threat to honeybees is the varroa mite. So the varroa mite, they, um, they feed on the bees and um, with that feeding they vector quite a few different viruses um, and, and that heavily impacts the bees. Have you experienced any problems with your bees? I have experienced problems with my bees, but most of them are expected or I would say um, beekeeper induced typically. Um, for example, uh, one time I had a beehive that I left instead of forward facing, it was actually shifted backwards. So uh, we actually got a large amount of rain and then the beehive actually filled with water. How does beekeeping help conservation uh, for the environment? So I'd say beekeeping helps with conservation and the environment probably through awareness of um, you know insects and pollinators and what they do for people and I think it gives us an indicator of you know what what we're doing through agriculture um, you know and they now um, also with monarch butterflies, that's another one that uh, through habitat loss. And a lot, all of those um, pollinators feed on a lot of the same plants. So with the diminishing amount of plants, the, you know, the, that impacts those, those creatures. How can everyday people help conserve bee populations? Probably the easiest way is to, to plant those plants that help with bees um, and actually maybe not plant them, but not spray your yard. Um, so, like right now, um, one of the biggest is actually the white Dutch clover you'll see in people's yards. Dandelions um, are one of the earliest plants that um, bees feed on in the springtime. So that's probably the biggest thing that people could do. Give, give a space in your yard that, um, for native plants and plants that help feed the bees. All right, uh, thank you for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for coming over.